hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how i use the binance p2p platform to buy and sell bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies here in nigeria this is particularly important considering the recent cryptocurrency ban by the cbn here in nigeria now there are two ways that you can buy bitcoin on binance you can buy as a customer where you can buy a, or sell at the set prices there or you can buy as a merchant where you create an ad to buy or sell at your own price i'll be showing you how to do this both using my mobile app so without further ado let's just get to it to get started you have to register and verify your account then you download the binance app if you've not registered yet there's a link in the description please make sure you use that link to sign up now once you've registered and downloaded the app and verified your account this is the binance app to trade on the p2p you have to click on trade here in the bottom menu then you click on p2p in the p2p markets you can buy or sell usdt bitcoin busd bmb eth nga and die let's say we want to buy bitcoin so click on btc now let's say we want to buy twenty thousand naira worth of bitcoin we'll come to this funnel here to filter what we want to buy so enter twenty thousand naira here which is the amount we want to buy with then we choose our payment method we want to pay directly from our bank account so we'll click on bank transfer then you click on yes here so this is going to filter out um what we want so you see this very first person which is which is Chibaik. um the limit is twenty thousand naira to two hundred and thirty three thousand naira so what i do is just to click on buy okay then i enter the amount i want to buy with i can buy by crypto or buy by cash we're buying by crypt by cash so i enter the amount which is twenty thousand naira then i click on before then you can see that um i have only 15 minutes to make this payment and it's by bank transfer so i click on buy btc then this next window is a summary that i'm buying twenty thousand dollars worth of bitcoin this is a price 23 million 792 and i'll be receiving 0 0.00084061 so i'll click on transfer the fund so this is the payment instruction okay so I'll go ahead and make this transfer. After I make this transfer, I'll click on transfer. So copy the bank and go to my bank to make this payment. So it's good i don't enter anything else to do with bitcoin in the transaction description so here i'll just enter my p2p username which is the script and that is it I click on continue so i have made these payments i'll go back to the binance app and click on transferred then i'll wait for this user or this merchant to release my bitcoin i could call him by clicking on this phone icon here 
to get his number and call him to tell him that I've made a payment that should release my coin or I can start chatting him up here by saying hello so I can chat him up okay now so I'm just waiting for him to release the coin I could also show you I think he has replied me okay I could also show you my Bitcoin balance before making transfer so if I go to wallets here and click on P2P you can see that in my Bitcoin balance I have 0 0.00000 one five four eight so once he releases the bitcoin this should increase let me go back to the p2p trade so i came back here and saw that he has actually completed the payment so i can rate him good then if I go back to my wallet, my P2P wallet, you can see that my Bitcoin has increased and I have 0.00085609 BTC. So this is how you can buy Bitcoin. Now let's say we want to sell a cryptocurrency on Binance. And in this case, we don't want to sell Bitcoin. Let's say we want to sell USDT. And we don't have this USDT on Binance. The first thing we have to do is to go and receive, is to receive the USDT into our Binance wallet. Then sell it on the P2P platform. To receive the USDT, we have to give somebody our USDT wallet address. To get that, in the wallet section, you click on sports up here then you select USDT by clicking here then you select deposits then you copy this address here by clicking clicking here this is the address that you will give somebody to send USDT to you. Once the person has sent USDT to you, you cannot transfer the USDT you want to send from your spot wallet to your P2P wallet. So let me go back to my to spot wallet. I'll click on transfer here. So I want to transfer the Bitcoin I've not the, the USDT I've not received from my spot wallet to my p2p wallet so i select the cryptocurrency i want to transfer in this case i want to transfer usdt i want to transfer 300 dollars worth of usdt so this has been transferred to my p2p wallet so if i choose to go back to my wallet and click on p2p you can see and I now have $300 in my P2P wallets. Let me go and sell this now. I click on trade, then go to P2P. In this case, instead of saying buy, I click on sell. Okay. Now, to sell this USDT to receive the money into my bank account, I need to enter my payment detail so I click on this three dotted line here then click on add payment method I already have three payment method here if I want to add a third one I can by a fourth one rather I can I just click on add payment method so you do this if you have not added payment method at all so I can add NGN fiat balance or bank transfer and I want to do bank transfer I want to receive this to my bank account so I enter the name is already selected so you can enter is another person's name you must be it must be your name 
So I enter my account number here. I enter the bank. Account opening branch is optional. So this is okay. I click on confirm. Make sure your account detail is correct. Then to make sure I'm the one, I need to enter my Google Authenticator code. So I've now added my another payment method. Then I want to sell my USDT, the same thing. I'll just go here and click on this funnel. I've, I've selected sell. I'll click on this funnel. I'll enter OK. I need to select. Yes, it's already in USDT because I want to sell USDT. I click on funnel. Um, I will enter the. Now I want to sell three hundred dollar worth of USDT, and if the rate is about four eighty five, it means that let me get my calculator. So at four eighty five, I'm selling three hundred dollars. That's about one hundred and forty five thousand naira. So I enter here and click on select one hundred and forty five thousand naira because that is the um about the amount of USDT I want to sell. I click on yes. So this is filtered out to bring me um the options with the price that of usdt i want to sell so you can see the first person is selling 200 and uh, 222,516 usdt so um his range is between 100 to 2 million so i can sell to this person he has completed about over 3,065 trades. So let me sell to this person. By cash, I enter the amount. So I can enter all. Okay. I can just make it 145,000 to make it a round figure. Bank transfer. Yeah. So I select the the payment method since I have multiple payment method there here yeah? I select the one that I want and I click on sell so I'll wait for this person to make payment to me okay I can always call him if he's uh, awaited and he has not made payments and I can always chat him up here and say I am waiting for payments now he has he has about 11 um, minutes 45 40 about 11 minutes to make the payment and I actually set a time about of about 60 minutes for me to wait um, to receive payment I didn't actually check this if I have checked this I will have chose somebody that that is only that has set only about 15 minutes to pay me so this merchant has already set 60 minutes so I have to wait for about 60 minutes um for him to make payment but you can make it right away or i can just give him a call okay while trying to call him i can see that he he has clicked that he has made big payments that i should confirm the payments so let me go check my bank app to be, to be sure that I received the payments. It is always very good that you check your app to be sure that you receive payments 
before confirming it. So yes, I have received payment from this merchant. So I'll go ahead and confirm receipts. I'll have to enter my Google Authenticator. So this is how you sell Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies using the Binance P2P platform. Let's say I want to buy Bitcoin and I want to create the advertisements. I have to do this as a merchant. To do this, I click on these three dots at the top right corner here and I click on advertisement mode. Then I confirm switch. So this is advertisement advertisement mode. Okay. Then at the bottom menu, I click on ads. Then post ad. Here I can either buy or sell the assets I want to buy. I choose it in this case. I want to buy BTC and I want to buy it with NGN. Then I can, I can either um, buy at a fixed price or a floating price. Fixed price is that I want to put a price there and I want to buy at that price irrespective of what Bitcoin is doing in the, in the global market. Why floating is that I want the price that I put to change with respect to what Bitcoin is in the global market. So if you go to Google, Bitcoin is in about, if you go to Google and type Bitcoin against Naira, is in about 18 million 830 so I can actually adjust this so this, this is saying I want to buy at 22 million 593 and this price will keep on changing based on what is happening in the global market but I want to buy it at a fixed price so I select fixed and um, I enter my price let's say I want to buy at 23 million 500 thousand okay I click on next here I enter the quantity of Bitcoin I want to buy this I want to buy 0.1 Bitcoin and my limit is that I don't buy I don't want anybody to come to me to sell less than 100,000 naira worth of Bitcoin I can choose this and the maximum number of Bitcoin I want to buy is say 12 million five hundred thousand if this is done the payment method is already in bank transfer. I can add more if I want to. I can actually add more um, payment method if I want to. And I want to be given at least 15 minutes or let's say 30 minutes to make this payment. So I click on next. Terms are optional. Auto reply is optional. Complete KYC. Anybody buying from me must complete the KYC. This looks all good. Then I click on post ad. Good. So if I go to the home page now and click on sell here, I should see my ad. So BTC, I should see my ad at 23 million 500. Because that is the price I want to sell at. So if Bitcoin falls to that price, or if someone clicks on my ad, I'm going to buy. So you can see the script. My ad is at 23 million 500, and I want to buy bit. Uh, the minimum I want to buy is 100 thousand. Maximum is 2 million 350. This is adjusted based on the number of Bitcoin I want to buy, which is 0 0.1 BTC. So anybody that wants to buy, we're just going to click on sell here and then I'll have to make bank transfer to the person and the person release the Bitcoin. This also goes for the sell. In case I don't want, I want to cancel this ad, I just click on ad here again. I can turn it off or I can click here to simply delete the ad or close the ad. This I use the Binance P2P platform to buy and sell bitcoin you can see it is quite easy 
if you have any question please do leave it for me in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to this channel click on the bell icon to get notification when we release awesome videos like this which we do every other week and get ready because i'll be doing the next video i'll be doing is the video on the binance features i will see you in that next video bye